Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all doing very well. It is Friday morning and I am just getting ready to head out. Mum and I are heading out, well, this morning slash afternoon. Um, just our usual Friday pop out. My mum works with me on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And usually, like we do chop and change sometimes, but those are usually like the three days she's with me. And so we try to kind of like film reels or any like um, Instagram content or anything like that I've got to do one day. And then usually, if by the end of the week I'm kind of up to date with things, on a Friday we try to think, let's get on about. It doesn't always happen. Um, but today I'm kind of like ahead of schedule-ish ahead of schedule I'm up to date with what I need to do so we thought we'd head out this afternoon I need to get a couple of bits like a couple of baby bits but also thought it'd be nice just to see if we can get some nice nice like autumnal home bits maybe a couple of just a, a mooch I say this every time I'm like just a little mooch around um but I've just popped in these earrings which I am loving and I've also got this gorgeous new necklace from Monica Vinida and how beautiful is that I absolutely love it and it is actually a locket as well so I'm thinking maybe like after baby is here I could put a little picture in there or like a little lock of hair or something she says not being able to open it open it now it's because I've got gel nails on so they're like a little bit thicker sorry hang on a second Rafi has just decided to pull my <laughs> my colostrum <laughs> syringes off of my bedside table <laughs> all the glamour pop those up there <laughs> there we go I'm into it so as you can see it is a little locket so it opens up but it's just so pretty and I love the way it kind of just hangs down from like the side of the heart as well um, but I was just deciding between whether to wear these earrings today which I absolutely love or this pair which are a little bit bigger in fact let me just pop one in so you can see and we can compare so this is the other style which I also love as well they're just a little bit bigger and I feel like maybe these work better with the necklace just because they're slightly smaller I do love those as well. How lovely are they? Sorry, <laughs> Raph's just pushing, pushing the cushions off the bed, if you can hear, ruffling in the background. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the smaller ones. Um, I am working with Monica Vinader on this part of the video, by the way, which means I have a discount code. It's a 20% discount code as well, which I always think is great when brands offer you guys a 20% discount code rather than 10%. It's always a little bit extra. So everything that I'm going to be showing you, you can get 20% off. Um, obviously I will leave links to these pieces below. Um, but I also ordered a couple of gorgeous rings that I'm loving. First of all, this one, which is actually the same style as the, e as the earrings that I'm wearing now. Um, but I love how chunky that is. How gorgeous is that? Um, so it's got like the same kind of like thick detail. It's almost like a teardrop detail. Um, and then this one is actually the same style as the other earrings that I showed you before. So it's got like the lines sort of flowing through it as well. But again, really chunky, gold vermé, and I feel like these two work perfectly together on this hand. So I'm going to wear both of those on that hand. And then I've also got a stack of three gold bangles as well that I'm going to pop on. You can buy these separately. Um, but I think they look gorgeous stacked as a three and they do also come in sterling silver a lot of the pieces I'm going to be showing you or like a lot of the pieces I'm wearing also come in sterling silver as well but obviously I am just a gold girl uh, but love how these three look stacked together I love how bangles look stacked and then a couple of other pieces that I ordered that I wanted to quickly show you obviously I'm not going to wear these today because I've already got a necklace on and then it's another pair of earrings as well but first of all is this gorgeous chunky necklace how lovely is that i wear in fact it's actually hanging up here i have got this one from monica vinader this chunky chain necklace that i have worn so so much and then i've also got this one as well that i wear quite a lot as well i definitely wear this one the most oh and then this one as well this is also another chunky chain from monica vinader that i've worn a lot as well 
also love the style of that. I feel like this one's like a little bit vintage. And I spotted this one on the new in section on Monica Vinita and just loved the style of that chain. How beautiful is that? I love the way it links together. I just think it's very pretty. It's something a little bit different and just brings so much to an outfit. Like without something like this that I wear a lot, just a t-shirt and a blazer, without a necklace or with, it just makes such a difference. So love this and will definitely be styling this up. In fact, you'll probably see me styling this in a reel over on my Instagram very soon. But how pretty is that? Gorgeous. And then the final item or piece that I ordered from Monica Vinader are these gorgeous chunky hoops. I'm pretty sure they come in small, medium and large. And this is the large size. And I just thought they were gorgeous. They are obviously a very chunky hoop. And then they've got this like angled style to them. So they kind of like pinch in at the front and at the sides as well. I will insert a close up so you can see them on better. I will pop them in so you can see how they look on. But I just thought they were gorgeous and I love how much a chunky hoop brings to an outfit as well. Especially, especially of an evening if I'm wearing like a plain black dress. If I pop in a pair of chunky earrings they just make such a difference to a simple outfit like that. So very pleased with those as well. But I'm going to keep this little pair in today. Obviously, like I said, everything featured will be linked below. 20% discount I will pop on the screen here it is SHA20 and it will give you 20% off the pieces that I've shown you. In fact, pretty much 20% off, I think pretty much everything on the website as well, but I will leave any terms and conditions in the description box. But that is me, ready to go out. Um, in fact, let me show you my outfit. Very simple, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> Look, a little Raffi crashed out on the bed behind me, bless him. Um, so this is today's outfit, minus the shoes and bag, which obviously I will grab before we head out. Um, but yeah, like I said, very simple, casual outfit. I've got on a striped t-shirt from Kos. Over the top, I've got on my black blazer from Everlane. I actually feel like I haven't worn a black blazer in a while. And then I am also wearing my new maternity leggings. If you saw my last vlog, you will have seen me raving about these. They literally come up so high. They are so comfortable and yeah, just an absolute dream. And I was kind of looking for something to wear today because I thought, oh, what can I wear out? And I thought, Do you know what? I'm just gonna put those on because they are so comfortable. So this is today's outfit of the day. And then I think I'm gonna pop on my beiges and probably take my little black mulberry bag with me. But yeah, love how all of this gold jewelry looks against this very simple outfit as well. <laughs> See a nice new blouse. <laughs> Put the new blouse on. <laughs> um, so we have just pulled up outside of John Lewis first stop. I just need to nip in and grab a couple of um, baby bits. I want to get some muslins, don't I, for my hospital bag. Yes. Um, and what else did I want to get from there? Little, did you, did you need any little mini toothpastes and um, no. <laughs> I haven't got a bloody clue what you want, have I? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, there's just a couple of other baby bits that I needed to get. So we're going to nip in there first. And then we thought we'd go and look at all of the nice autumn pieces in Home, Home Sense. Sense. Because oh, yes. we've seen... It's just nice, isn't it, when you see all like the... Candles and... Yeah, I walked past the house the other day, actually, on our road, and they've got all like a big autumn display yeah outside How the front nice. door which looked really nice uh Rafi needs a trim as well i'm going to try and get him booked in next week because he is looking a little bit bedraggled aren't you he doesn't care he doesn't care but no, he doesn't care he's quite he happy, does need a little he? tidy up just coming to john lewis and i realized i need a lampshade for the spare room i've been meaning to get one for a while so i think i'm gonna go for one of these linen ones I'm just trying to work out what size what do you think, ma'am? What size do you think would go? This one here? I think so. 30 centimetres? And do you prefer the... I think I prefer this shape rather than that shape, don't oh, you? Yes. Just the simple... That, that slightly more... Modern. Yeah, same. Hey, stop! 
Would that be the size you went for? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> In situ. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I like the like linen texture of them as well. They are white, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, that's more of a neutral colour, isn't it? I quite like the neutral as well, but I think the white probably would work better in the room. Maybe I'll go for that one then. We've just come into HomeSense to look at the autumn bits. And they've already got all the Christmas stuff out already. All of the decorations and wreaths and tree skirts and lots of different... I do like the snow globes, though. I do always think they look really pretty, don't they? Oh, look at that. It's Christmas. Aye, aye. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Mum. <laughs> People actually buy these. Oh, they must stuff. do, mustn't they? Yeah. What even is it? What's, is it like Halloween decorations, it I guess? It must be, mustn't it? Yeah, it is. It is all Halloween, Halloween decorations. It doesn't even look that Halloween, does it? No, but people do go crazy for Halloween, don't they? Think of that, that would be lovely in your nursery, wouldn't it? I think. Yeah. <laughs> not sure, are you? No, I'm not sure. I've got some lovely like faux flowers in here, but more, again, more like Christmassy yeah, things. They're all like thinking. Christmassy, aren't they? It's not really These anything. Are pretty. A bit much, maybe? They look a little bit plasticky and they're, are they glittery? They do. Oh, yeah, they are, they are glittery. Yes, no, are. not for me. Normally. But there's not really anything. I suppose these, this bunch over here do look a little bit more kind of autumn-y. They do all look really pretty, but just not anything that, I don't know, not anything that I was kind of thinking would work as like an autumnal addition to the living area. I quite like these. Yeah, they look quite nice. But I wouldn't get them. 3.99. Yeah, no, they're not bad if you've got a bunch of those, but it's just not what you've got in mind. Not what I've got in mind. No. Bit too, bit, bit too colourful for me. <laughs> no, that is nice. Mum's just spotted this little um, kind of autumn display. I don't like the black vases. No, but they? you can paint that. Yeah, if it really was, if it, if if it was, was really, cream, if that was cream. We're really clutching at straws, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that and paint it. <laughs> they're all black though. I don't know if it's because they're kind of making them a little bit Halloween-y, yes. aren't they? Yes. I think so. <laughs> I don't need another sideboard, but I just said to mum, this sideboard's really lovely. It's only 249 and I just think the style of it's really nice. And it's almost like in a washed, like a sort of washed white wood. And I like the kind of like cane bits on the inside as well. They've actually got some nice furniture up here. But I don't actually need any furniture at the moment, I don't think. We spotted, well, mum spotted. No, no, that is lovely, actually. It's quite pretty, I feel like that's it? the nicest one we've spotted so far. Yeah. Although, am I, am I saying it's nice because there's nothing else? Yes, I think you are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Am yeah. I like, oh yes, finally one that looks like... A little bit autumnal in a in a white vase. I think that would look lovely in your house, though. Yeah, but where? Well, it's quite small. No, but what I mean is, I was all, I was almost thinking of getting something a little bit bigger for the middle of the table, where I've got the eucalyptus at the moment. Could you get three of them and put them <laughs> dot them along the table? Down the table. <laughs> yeah, they have. I suppose they've got some. Oh, careful, mum, your bag. They've got. Yeah, they have got some slightly nicer ones here. Matthew's tails. <laughs> <laughs> he's choosing which one to Yeah, yeah, which he's pointing at it. <laughs> Raffy. He wants everyone to say hello to him, don't you, Raffy? Raff, you just want everyone to say hello to you, don't you? Literally every person we see, he expects them to stroke him. <laughs> That's pretty as well, but in a very OTT kind of way. Mm, wouldn't fit in with you. Oh, I don't know what I'm after what, now. Really. 14.99. Yeah, that is lovely. I like the kind of so like silvery I. grey so of it. I love that. <laughs> There's oh. us looking at all like the rusty autumn colours and then we see like a nice <laughs> neutral one and we're like, oh, that is. But it is lovely. And, it looks very. That. Yeah, that is too similar to what I've got and I don't like the tin that it's in. No. That's got a warmth to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Seeing them all together makes me, if that's the one I would like. Yeah, they are actually quite cute. How many do we need? <laughs> <laughs>
And the other ones below are quite nice. Well, yeah, I don't know actually. No, I much prefer those. Yeah, no, I prefer much those. Prefer they those. are quite cute. But I mean, I wouldn't add autumn cushions. No, it was more like cute. flowers and that sort of thing. It's not going to not be nice, is it? No, it doesn't matter when I'm in the car. I'm just waiting for the light to adjust. No, because... Good boy. I've, I've realised you haven't... Oh, it's really dusty. I've realised you haven't been in one of my vlogs in ages. And in the comments the other day it said like, where's your you baby daddy? Comments, no, I don't care. I just was like thinking, that's the point. You haven't actually been in. <laughs> um, good morning. It is Saturday now and we're up and up right and early, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, nine o'clock. Like no, no, it's not. It's not early now, but we've been up and out. You know, early. We were. Well, we both woke up at six, did we? Yeah, we woke up really early. I think because we were asleep very early as well. Half eight. <laughs> no, not that early, but literally half nine. It was. I think it, you I was, was out. Yeah, yeah, I was gone. It was early. You joke at half eight, but half nine's just as bad. I wanted to go to bed. I'm at half the eight. pregnant one. I could understand me being asleep at half nine, but you, <laughs> you've got no excuse. Um. But yeah, we are up and out early. We're going to go for a beach walk, yeah. aren't we? And then Poundland. We... <laughs> Is that making the vlog Poundland? <laughs> Lou wants to get some bits for for the hospital bag, yeah. Yeah. Like snacks and stuff. So we thought we'd pop to town, pop to pop to Poundland. <laughs> All the glamour. <laughs> um, and just get yeah just get a few other bits and bobs i feel like i'm always getting bits and bobs for my hospital bag and it's never complete i don't think it ever will be no but but yeah so that's what we're doing this morning um and it's a lovely morning as you can well, see well but... there's some progress in the flat we're here aren't we you could always flick the old camera around that see i was going to wait until it was a bit more like finished finished yeah okay do you think i should show then it's up to you I was going to wait until the kitchen, because basically we've just pulled up at the flat because we're parking here to go into... It's close to the town. It's close to the town, it's close to the beach, so we were like, we'll park here, beach walk town. Um, but I was going to show you a little bit of an update, but you put the, started putting the kitchen in last week, didn't you? Which, by the way, I know a few people have asked about the flat, so mm. while we're here, now you've mentioned it. I wasn't going to mention it, no, but I, I feel like now you haven't mentioned it. I feel like I do need to mention that it has taken way longer than we expected. It's because Lou has been really busy with other work, haven't you? Yeah, I've just not been doing it. It's um, point, point blank been just not doing it's it. It's been like put on the back burner because there's been other priorities with well, Lou's we, work. We, we also bought it really cheap, so it's like... We did. We got a really good deal on it, so we know that it's like already made its money by the amount it's gone up in value like it's definitely gone up in value by a huge amount already hasn't it yeah. so it's not like we're thinking oh gosh we spent this money and now it's not getting done and we're not getting any rent like there's not there's not that worry there um but that is why it's taken so much longer and i haven't really been doing regular updates because usually a month can go past and nothing's happened has yeah it? yeah no but there's been months where i haven't even been there yeah um yeah. but it's all coming it's all coming together it's coming together we've got a kitchen the floors down the kitchen's down the bathroom's done yeah there's just a few bits and pieces that need to be done yeah that's about but it. i think i might wait and show the kitchen next time we come like in the next couple of weeks at some point wonderful rather than today just because um it's like that it's at that in-between stage well it's just a real mess at the moment so yeah exactly at maybe get a picture of it. Cause... Do you know what? I might show a little sneak of the kitchen. All right, come okay. on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we have just come into the flat and this is how the kitchen's looking. It is looking on camera. It's showing up really dark because it's so bright in here. So it's like the camera's adjusting. But as you can see, it's kind of semi-finished. So worktops are in and ovens in, hobs in. No, it's not. No, not hobs, sorry, that hood, hood's in. Um, cupboards either side. Uh, the annoying thing is, I don't know if anyone's got any recommendations. These windows, they open inwards. So Lou's just gonna give you a little demo. See what it means? They open inwards, so they're massive windows. They look so much better with a nice oh, blind on. Huh? No, I get it. I know that you can't change them. I'm just, I just don't know what to do like blind wise with them because we were going to put blinds up, but obviously we can't. And then there's that one there, which that one doesn't open at all, does it? No. So we could put a blind up at that one. No, if would. yeah, but I don't know if you, you wouldn't bother if you weren't putting one up there. there. Um, but the fridge freezer is going to go there, and we just went for 
like a pale grey, if I show you up here, because you can see it's got like a little bit of a grain to it. Um, actually very similar to our kitchen, to be fair. And it looks nice. And then worktops, just a laminate worktop, just to keep budget down. And then I like how this little um, window, board. window board's gone in. Looks very snazzy. Very nice indeed. So this is kind of like a little bit of an update. Sink's going there. Oh yeah, sinks go in there. Pop's go in there. Pop's go in there. There's going to be like a this area here is for a bin, um, and washing machine in there. Washing machine, yeah. Everything else is looking. Yep, yeah, I did mention that. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. A little bit of skirting in there. So yeah, so basically the kitchen is looking a lot better. I won't show you the rest of the house because um, it's all a bit of a mess with like tools and everything everywhere. Handles on the doors. God, you have been working hard. <laughs> you need a pay rise, mister. <laughs> um, but no, it does look good in here. You have done a good job. I'm only joking. Um, a new door on the cupboard? The old door is knackered. So Lovely. A new door on there. Well, look at that. That is a new door. <laughs> and then yeah like I said the rest of the rooms are just kind of like full of tools and underlay ready to go under the carpets there's heat there's a hob there's new radiators in each room like it was already had electric heaters so there's more well, electric heaters uh, storage, heater, so. storage heaters oh did you leave it on it went around it's temperature oh, okay. so you have to set it to like if it went below like who's this a book I told you this oh did you yeah, it got posted through, and I just, I didn't even look at the... I just thing. opened it I thinking it was a letter. I thinking it was for like a tool station catalogue or something. Oh, uh, okay. And then I, I don't even know, it didn't, it said, still said it's flat. Oh, okay. It's flat 21, but I don't know who Probably the people was. that lived here before me. Oh no, because it was an old person, wasn't it? Was it? Oh, so scary. Like nice, thanks. Yeah, so yeah, so that is a little bit of an update of how the kitchen is looking, but I do think that... Um, no, I know you have, babe. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I don't think anyone needs to see the cupboard, the cupboard and the fuse board. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's nice for him to, it's nice for him to frolic, frolic. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hello, Walker. Careful. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> we have just got back from a walk, and um, our neighbours had very kind have very kindly taken in. Well, I thought we had a baby. Yeah, 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 they, th <laughs> they thought we had a baby because we'd been out for ages. But these had been delivered while we were out and they'd taken them in for us. So Lou is very, very eager to get straight into the boxes and have a look at everything. This thing. Um, and you actually chose this pram, didn't you? Yeah. We I'll looked at quite... Us for why. Go on, you tell us as for why. Because we went to that pram shop. Yep. And they... This one just ticked all the boxes. It did, did, to be fair. I know you... I know you you're like leaning you were <laughs> <laughs> you never agree with me you're a tricky one as soon as i liked one it was almost like you weren't sure because there would have been something wrong with it no we looked at loads of different ones but the there was like a guy that was showing us how they had to assemble this one wasn't it 
a, yeah. like a rep in store kind of thing yeah. and he just made this one look so light strong, light, strong convenient time. yeah he bounced on it at one point didn't he yeah. he jumped on it and he showed how like an extreme guy <laughs> but basically he sold it to us and so Lou was like afterwards we kind of went and looked at some other ones and Lou was like no I just I just really want that Italian one I just really want that Italian one no, I just um, said it's a superior one yes I know you did I'm just saying you kept saying you kept calling it the Italian one because it's Inglesino Inglesino I think it's an Italian brand um so anyway there's some, there's some bits to it though, not there? Yeah, that's the actual stand thing. Okay, so that will kind of stay in the corner so we can put... I mean, yeah, that's there. I told you we've got a lot of sleeping places. We're expecting twins. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, there was something I want to tell you. <laughs> I, think gonna, I think I'm going to have to go and do like a degree on engineering to be able to put this together. No, it won't be. It'll be easy. Yeah, we'll, um, be. I'll put my camera down and come and help you. We've got a little cable tie, but we've got it is a couple of hours later now. Lou has just popped out, otherwise I would get him to give you a demo because he's been playing around with the push chair for the past couple of hours, just faffing around um, and getting to grips with it and assembling everything. So I feel like he's got it down to a T, whereas I've just been <laughs> letting him get on with it. But I think it looked, he made it look pretty easy. So this is obviously the kind of like wheels bit, is it called the chassis? Um, but literally all you do is press this button here and she's up <laughs> and it wheels really nicely as well it feels really lovely and smooth I mean don't get me wrong these tiles are very smooth to push on anyway but it does feel lovely and then to put it down you literally just press this pull it up bosh <laughs> how simple is that so I can see why he was so sold on this because it's just yeah very simple to put up and down Got a little cup holder on the side as well, which is handy, and just really nice, like really nice quality. So very pleased with this. And then if I just put it back up again, this is hold on. This is the uh, carry pot, is it called? Gosh, I'm a little bit new to all this, <laughs> obviously. Um, but that literally just clips on like that. And we're good to go. <laughs> and I will show you in a second the inside, but it's got like, this gorgeous little um, newborn winter muff in there, which is super soft and just looks so cosy. And um, yeah, it just looks super snug. So I would show you the car seat, but Lou's already put that in the car. It came with a car seat and then like a 360 spin thing, which obviously is gonna be very handy. But Lou's popped that in the car already. Um, and then it came with the um, push chair bit, which obviously we'll use at a later date. And then also this as well, which is, how do we do this? He hasn't actually shown me how to do this, I think. Oh yeah, there you go. So this is actually something you can keep in the corner. And then this bit comes off and clips onto there. So if you're coming in from a walk and you don't want to bring this like main wheels bit into the house, you can just pick this off and pop it on there and baby can stay sleeping. So I feel like we've kind of ticked every box with this. I just can't wait to start using it. I can't wait to go on our first walk. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am going to finish off this vlog here um, and I will leave everything linked below that I have featured throughout this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to think if there'll be another vlog before baby. I'm sure there probably will be. Doesn't feel like baby's coming anytime soon. Um, but who knows? I will, of course, keep you updated. And obviously I will update on my Instagram as well. So if you follow me over there, you'll probably get a little bit more up to date. Um, yeah, updates, up to date updates. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.